Let's put the invasion into numerical terms. Two years ago, the number of illegals that had been here within the last 36 months was one in 70. Yeah. One in 70 of us. Right now, it's one in 50. By the end of next year, at this rate, it'll be one in 35. That is the that is that is what we're looking at here. And if mm-hmm. if eighty percent of those have ill intent, that's a that's bad. This is beyond bad. Think about that. I I've, I've been thinking about it in these terms. I mean, I'm hoping these are people looking for freedom. I'm, I'm you know we live in Southern California and we would run into people all the time that said, listen, I lived in a Northern province. I saw the bodies that would be hanging from the bridges, you know, the beheaded bodies that would hang from the bridges. That's how they would send messages. The cartels did. And I just had to get out of that. And we came to them. Pat and I both knew we would run into families, maybe at a restaurant, maybe something. And they would openly say, well, I came here. My parents brought me here. So there was a time and there were people, this surge coming across here, it's just being sent and you're seeing images where you've got 400 men. It's like 400 men in a row and there's no women, there's no children. Yeah. And we saw a guy that was identified as a, mm-hmm. you know, the, a 12 year terrorist. 12 year terrorist. <laughs> right. And now we see 260, you know, Chinese nationals. Gee, what are you boys up to? And, and, and the dilution effect folks, it was one in 72 years ago. It's one in 50 now. And in a year and a half, it'll be one that's in 35 a, that's a people. Scary thought, that's so, yeah. one in 35 people are, recent illegal immigrants within the last 48 months. And this is why, Tom, uh, immigration and the border has now overtake inflation as the number one concern and the number one issue on voters' minds in America today. And what it and took, I don't care who you are in America. If you see this just coming into your country, yeah. how do you say let them all in? Oh, but what, this open border policy is nonsensical. Adam, because they sold everybody, not not me, not us. They sold that whole BS. It's some open arms. When when uh, Jim Acosta, another snake for CNN, when Trump was like, these caravans, he's like, it's an invasion. You could look it up. He said, Trump said, it's an invasion. You know what Jim Acosta said? It's not an invasion. They're just people looking for a better life. Are you letting them in your house? It's un- and, and you nailed it. That number is not, by the way, those numbers, I think it's more than that. I think in four years, it's going to be at $20 million, 20 million people, and it's a wrap, guys. The damage has been done. Biden, congratulations, did an amazing job. May- Mayorkas did an amazing job. Love them or hate them, they did exactly what they wanted uh, to do, it, and it's, it's a wrap. I will say this. Like to try to give a freaking positive spin on this because I don't know how you're going to remove these people you're from not, this country. You're not. I don't know how. Yeah. Somehow there needs to, and I'm not advocating for this, but I'm trying to take a positive direction on this. How do we going to get these people to assimilate <laughs> and love America? You're not going to. Okay, that's I, what I'm saying. No way. I you're don't. fleeing your country for a reason. How are we going to get them to appreciate America? You came here for a reason. You fled your country for a reason. I know a lot of immigrants who have come here legally, some even illegally, love America. Love America because it gave them an opportunity, the land of opportunity, the land of the free, the land of the brave, where they can make something better of their life. How can we get these guys to assimilate America? You've seen these man on the street interviews when they say, who was the first president? And they're like, uh, uh, Abraham Lincoln? No, wrong. Like... Uh, who who was in the American Spanish War? Uh, I don't know, China. It's like no American Spain. Basic questions, basic not- things about America. If they're going to be living in this country, not that I'm condoning that, you need to understand what America stands for. You need to love it's America. Not, Adam, there's absolutely no way. When ask Dick Durbin, Dick Durbin's like, let's just have them join the military. Are you freaking bananas? Are you nuts? When I say the damage is done, Adam, 20 million people are going to be here in in this four years. So what's your they're, solution they're, for these they're, people? They're, Adam, that's what? Look, I, guys, I, guys, you need, a leader, you need a leader with the will to yeah. handle the criminal I, element and the will to make America a manufacturing power and tariff the hell out of China and give these people jobs. Yeah, no, no, yeah, that's one of the ways. The other way is no illegal immigrants, no border, close up the border. We're not taking anybody in for a year. One by one by one, you're going to have the greatest, biggest deportation we've ever done in the history of America. Then we're talking legally people coming in. That's what we're going to be doing. So what's going to happen. You have to shut down for a year and a half. I say shut it down until end of 2025. I love period. that. Period. 
end of 2025. It's that tr- problematic. Mm-hmm. One, one out of 70, one out of 50, by the end of the year, next year, this time, one out of 35. You know what this means? This means at any point you're walking around, you know, you, you saw what happened. So imagine you win the Super Bowl. You're out there trying to celebrate the town with your guys that won the Super Bowl. And what happens? Shooting takes place. People are afraid to go. To, you, you had one at the church. You had one at a celebration. People are like, w- what's the level of risk I got to go places? You know, what do I do? You know, you, you have the, uh, uh, the, 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 what do you call it? The, these uh, sanctuary cities just releasing them. The girl that was on uh, uh, the Bill Maher. He says, yeah, as if something happened to you. Yeah, a guy came. Yeah. He came and robbed my, house, my and, yeah, and broke it into Michaels. And guess what? Newsom released him. Yep. He released him for the third time. He released him, and he's out there in the streets again. Yeah, I don't feel safe in a place yeah. like this, and right? Guys in New York giving well, everyone yeah. the two bucks. Getting bailed out. Getting bailed out. And in, in Detroit, there's a migrant gang that's going to all houses in Detroit and stealing millions of dollars. And they're shooting, by the way. New York migrants are shooting people in the street. But Pat, how do we get Over. them out? Okay. You're not going to get them out. Number one step is you need a president that's going to defend America and stop apologizing. Conversation on a couple of days ago where we're talking about money being sent to. Rob, do you have the clip of all these guys selling fear porn that Russia's up to something unless if we give money to Ukraine? Do you have that clip or not? If you, if you can find any of it, I don't know if you can or not. They're going to scare the crap out of America, crap out of America until that money is given to Ukraine. Yeah. They're going to scare the crap out of America until that money is being given to Ukraine. Zelensky comes out and talks about how, you know, we need your support. And the Senate did the right thing. Now it's on... You, you know, the House is, I'm grateful to every U.S. senator who made a morally strong choice today. Such a choice matters right now, not just for Ukraine, but for every nation whose independence is a target for Russian strikes, current and planned, include those planned for coming years. The next step is a vote in the U.S. House of Representatives. We anticipate an equally strong moral choice and a decision that will work for the benefit of our shared security. Who the hell are you, bro? <laughs> to lecture. Who are you? I'm sorry. I'm. If there's anything out of all these stories that irritates me, is who? There's this. Who are you to tell the House and the U.S. that we're supposed to do it? The next step is to vote. The House of Representatives we anticipate an equally strong moral choice. Who are you, the moral compass and a, cha- and a decision that will work for the benefit of our shared security? What do you mean, the benefit of our shared security? What the benefit of our shared security? So they're going to sell for your porn. America is going to fall forward. That $95 uh, uh, billion is going to be paid out. You have the, the Johnson clip where he says we're not going to be given the money. I don't know if you have it or not. The Mike Johnson talking about the fact that we are not going to be supporting the – no, I don't think you have it in here. What do you mean? He said he's going to take a vote. Yeah, they're not even going to take up a vote for Zelensky. So, but, but the one reality that is real that we're experiencing in America, that border crisis is a real issue. We have to address that. And you shut it down. It's got to be a very bold, bold statement and a leader that has the brass to do something about it. That is going to get spicy. That's very Cuomo <laughs> and Candace. First time CNC. ever Candace Owens and Chris Cuomo. Sick. Having a three-hour conversation, not wow. a two-hour. We're going to touch up on so many mm-hmm. different topics, issues. It's going to be fun. It's going to be entertaining. We'll be making some announcements oh, wow. on that day as well. So here's my suggestion to you. If you're part of the text that you know when I send you text and you find out before everybody else, uh, on any events that's going on, you know you already got this text and you're tuning in to see who it is. Now you know, Candace and Chris Cuomo, uh, you got VIP tickets. Uh, Rob, if we put the link, is that, does that the QR code take it straight to it? Correct. Perfect. You got the VIP tickets where you get a chance to sit up front and hear all the exchange. Maybe even we'll go to the audience with the VIP ticket to ask a question pointed to Chris or Candace. And then you have all the other folks. The VIP also gets the chance to go to the cigar lounge with us in the back, have a cigar, sit down, have a conversation. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.